So in this question, we have to find out the converse of the statement. If nth term of a sequence is linear, then the sequence is AP. Okay. Again, if you closely observe the statement given to us in the question, it is of the form if x, then y. And we know that the converse of this statement, if x, then y, would be if y, then x. All right. So here, what is x and what is y? So the x is if nth term of a sequence is linear. So this is x. And what is y? y is the sequence is in AP, that is y. Okay. So here, what we have is if x, then y. What is the converse of if x, then y? The converse of if x, then y would be if y, then x. So the converse of the given statement would be if a sequence is in AP, then its nth term is linear, okay, which has been given to us in option C, or hence we can say that the correct answer to this question is option C. So in this question, we have been given a Boolean expression, which is P implies negation of P and negation Q. All right. And the truth table has been given for this Boolean expression where A, B, C, D are the respective truth values where when P and Q are true, 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 false, F, T and F, F. All right. So when P is true, Q is true, then the truth value of the given Boolean expression is considered as A. If P is true, Q is false, then the truth value of the given Boolean expression is considered as B. If P is false, Q is true, then the truth value of the Boolean expression is considered as C. And if P is false and Q is false, then the truth value of the given Boolean expression is considered as D. All right. So this all thing has been given to us in the question. And after solving this question by calculating the values of A, B, uh, A, B, C and D, we have to check which of the following four options is the correct option to this question. All right. So let me repeat again what has been given to us in this question. In this question, we have been given a Boolean expression and the truth table of this Boolean expression is given as follows. Then we have to find out which of the following four options is correct. OK, so this has been given to us in the question. Now, if I form the truth table for this Boolean expression by taking different corresponding values of P and Q, what I will get is I'll start with the different combinations of P and Q, starting with true, 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 false, false, true and false, false. Then we will calculate what is negation of Q. Then we will calculate what is P and negation Q. And then we will calculate what is negation of P and negation Q. And then finally, we will calculate what is P implies negation of P and negation Q. All right. So starting with negation Q. If Q is true, negation Q would be the opposite truth value of it and it will be false. If Q is false, then negation Q will have the opposite truth value of false, which is true and so on we will get f and t for the remaining two truth values of q all right so we have calculated negation q and that is f t f t now we have to calculate p and negation q so where p is t and negation q is f the and value the conjunction of this would be false and if p is true and negation q is also true then the conjunction would be true and if p is false and negation q is false then the conjunction will be false again and if p is false and negation q is true then the conjunction again will be false all right so we have calculated the value of the truth values of p and negation q now what do we have to do now we have to find out negation of p and negation q all right so here the truth values of p and negation q is f t f f its corresponding negation values would be t f t t all right so we have calculated the truth values of negation of p and negation q which are t f t t 
Now, what do we have to do next? We have to find out the truth values of P implies negation of P and negation Q. All right. So here I will consider the truth values of P and the truth values of negation of P and negation Q. All right. So here when the truth value of P is true and the truth value of let me name it as X. So if the truth value of P is true, the truth value of X is also true, then the implication truth value will be true. Similarly, when the uh, truth value of P is true, the truth value of X is false, then the implication value would be false. When the truth value of P is false, when the truth value of X is true, then the implication will be true. And at last we have when the truth value of P is false and the truth value of X is true, then the implication will be true again. All right. Now, what are the corresponding values of A, B, C and D? So this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. From here, we can see that the truth value of B is opposite of the truth values of A, C and D. And the truth values of A, C, D are same as true. All right, let's go to our options here. So here we can see that the truth value of A is opposite to that of B. That's correct. Because when we calculated the truth value of A, we got true. When we calculated the truth value of B, we got false. They both are opposite of each other. Hence, we can say that the truth value of A is opposite to that of B, which is the correct option. If you even go further to options B, C and D, you can see that they are incorrect options because it has been given in option B. The truth value of A is opposite to that of C, which is incorrect because the truth value of A and the truth value of C are the same. They both are true. Now, moving on to option C, the truth value of A is opposite to that of D, which is also incorrect because both the both A and D had the same truth values, which is true. And even for option D, we can say that it is incorrect because again, C and D had the same truth value, which is which was True. OK, so we got the truth value of B as false and the truth value of A, C and D as true. After looking at these truth values, we can clearly say that option A is the correct answer to this question, which states that the truth value of A is opposite to that of B. So in this question, we have been given a Boolean expression, which is P implies negation Q or R. And it has been given that the truth value of this statement is false. Then we have to calculate the truth value of P, Q, R respectively. All right. So what has been given to us in this question? In this question, we have been given that there is a statement which is P implies negation Q or R and the truth value of this statement is false. And the agenda of this question is to find out the truth values of P, Q, R respectively. All right. Now, if you just focus on the statement P implies negation Q or R. And if you will recall, this statement will have the truth value false only when P is true and negation Q or R is false. All right. So the statement P implies negation Q or R will take up the truth value false only when P is true and negation Q or R is false. That means P is true. OK, so we have got the truth value for P, which is true and negation Q or R is false. Now, negation Q or R takes up the truth value as false when negation Q is false and R is false. If negation Q is false, then we can say that Q is true and R is false. So in the question, we had to actually calculate the truth values of P, Q and R. And this is what we just did. We calculated the truth value of P as true. We calculated the truth value of Q as true. We have calculated the truth value of R as false. And that was the agenda of this question. We had to calculate the truth values of P, Q and R respectively. And we got the truth values as true, true and false respectively for P, Q and R. OK, so let me repeat again what was given in the question and how did we actually calculated the truth values of P, Q and R. In the question, it was given that the statement P implies negation Q or R has the truth value as false. If this is the case, 
then it is only possible when P takes up the truth value as true and negation Q or R takes up the truth value as false. Okay, F at this step, we were able to calculate the truth value of P, which is true. Now, if you just focus on the other part where we have negation of Q or R, okay, so whenever we are talking about disjunction and if its truth value is false, that is only possible when, when both negation Q and R are false, okay. So at this step, we were able to calculate the truth value of R, it is false. And we are able to calculate the truth value of negation Q, which is also false. If the truth value of negation Q is false, then the truth value of Q will be opposite of false, which is true. So at this last step, we were able to calculate the truth value of Q and the truth value of Q that we calculated is true. Okay, so we have calculated the truth value of P as true. We have calculated the truth value of Q as true. And we have calculated the truth value of R as false. For these values of P, Q and R, the given Boolean expression will take up the truth value as false. And we can see uh, T, T, F in option A. So basically T is the truth value of P, T again, the second T is the truth value of Q and F is the truth value of R. And this is what we calculated. We calculated the truth value of P, Q and R as T, T and F respectively. Hence, we can say that the correct answer to this question is option A. So in this question, we have been given a Boolean expression, which is negation of P implies negation of Q. And we have to find out which of the following four options is equivalent to the given Boolean expression. All right. So what is the expression given to us in the question? The expression given to us in the question is negation of P implies negation of Q. Now we have to find out which of the following four options is equivalent to to the given expression, to the given Boolean expression in the question. Now we all know that negation of P implies Q is given by P and negation Q, all right? But in this case, P is same as P, but instead of Q, we have negation of Q. So what will be negation of P implies negation Q? Well, it will be equivalent to P and negation of negation Q. Now we all know that negation of negation Q or negation of negation of any statement will be same as the statement itself. So we can replace negation of negation Q with Q. So what we will get is P and Q. And this is the equivalent expression of the Boolean expression given to us in the question, all right? It was pretty straightforward question. A Boolean expression was given to us in the question and we just had to find out the Boolean expression which was equivalent to the given expression in the question. And what did we get? We got P and Q which has been given to us in option C. Hence, we can say that the correct answer to this question is option C. So in this question, we have been given a Boolean expression. P implies negation of P or negation of Q. And it has been given that the truth value of this Boolean expression is false. Then we have to find out the truth values of P and Q respectively. All right. So what has been given to us in this question and what is the agenda of this question? In this question, we have been given the Boolean expression P implies negation of P or negation of Q. And the agenda of this question is to find out respective truth values of P and Q for which the truth value of this given expression is false. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the truth table for this Boolean expression. So we'll start with the different combinations of P and Q. Then we'll calculate the truth values of negation of P or negation of Q. And then finally, we'll find out the truth value of P implies negation of P or negation of Q. All right. So let's start with the truth values of negation of P or negation of Q. If P is true, negation of P would be false. And if Q is true, the negation of Q will also be false. And we have to find out false or false, which will be equivalent to false. Okay. Now moving on to the next combination that we have, where P is true, Q is false. If P is true, the negation of P 
would be false. And if Q is false, the negation of Q would be true. So we have to find out the truth value of F or true, which is same as true. All right. Now moving on to the third combination where P is false, Q is true. If P is false, negation of P would be true. And if Q is true, then negation of Q would be false. And we have to find out the truth value of T or F, which is equivalent to T. Okay. Now the last and the fourth combination where the truth value of P is false, the truth value of Q is also false. That means the negation of P would be true and negation of Q will also be true. And we have to calculate true or true and it is equivalent to true. All right. So here we have calculated the truth values of negation of P or negation of Q, which are F, T, T, T for the corresponding combinations of P and Q. All right. Now we have to find out P implies negation of P or negation of Q. All right. So if the value of P is true and the value, the truth value of P is true and the truth value of negation of P or negation of Q is false, then we will get the implication truth value as false. All right. Now moving on to the next combination where it has been given that the truth value of P is true and the truth value of negation P or negation Q is true then the truth value of the implication will also be true. Moving on to the third combination where we have the truth value of P as false and the truth value of negation P or negation Q as true, then the implication, the truth value of the implication will be true. All right. Moving on to the fourth combination where the truth value of P is false and the truth value of negation P or negation Q is true, then the truth value of the implication will be true again. All right. Now in the question, we were given that the truth value of the given Boolean expression is false. Then we have to find out the corresponding truth values of P and Q. If you will see in this truth table, you will see that only in one combination, we are getting the truth value of P implies negation P or negation Q as false, where the truth value of P is true and the truth value of Q is also true. All right. So if you will check the options, you will see that option B matches with the truth values of P and Q respectively that we calculated. Hence, we can say that the correct answer to this question is option B.